What's going on, everyone? This is Josh with Sales-CRM. Today, I'm gonna walk through one of the main benefits and features of CRM, the customer relationship management software, which is tracking communications and interactions with your clients, as this is the core behavior that helps drive sales, is all the communication history that you're having uh, to help push them through the sales process and see if you're gonna build partnerships for people to buy your products and services. So. On our dashboard here, you can see all these different tasks that you've got within a given day. It's always gonna show your daily tasks uh, on your dashboard within Sales Dash to just quickly hop into an account, contact, or a deal page, whichever you may be using within our software um, to manage your clients. So we're gonna do one starting from scratch and let's just go ahead and add an account. We're gonna do Mr. Jeff Bezos. And as soon as we add Jeff into our system as an account, we can enter in all his general information. Again, if you've imported or already had clients in the spreadsheet, it's really easy to add those into the software and to even add custom fields if you have industry specific fields of the typical questions you may ask throughout a sales process. It is actually easy to add that into Sales Dash and have all that information imported. Um, so from our account page here, we wanna make it really simple to see general information on the left side of the screen for contact information, your activity timeline in the middle, setting a task up here at the top right and then logging a new activity. So let's just say I'm gonna call Jeff about my delivery and I'm gonna call him today. I'm not gonna set a time, I'm just gonna set a date. So this is gonna populate on my dashboard, again, cause I set this task for today and you can see right here, it says call Jeff about my delivery. If I click this task from my dashboard, it's gonna take me back to the page and I can either log a brand new activity uh, to talk to Jeff, let's just say I did that and had an intro call with him and he did not answer. You can just add any result there. That activity logs there in the middle. Um, or if I wanna just complete this task, I can also just click this and you'll see uh, within the add activity form here, complete task is already gonna go ahead and populate that given task. And I'll say, Jeff said my delivery is going to show up on time, which it normally does with Amazon. So I log that activity, same thing, that's gonna go all the way into my activity timeline. And the biggest reason tracking communications and your interactions is one of the most important features of CRM is because if you're a salesperson, an entrepreneur, you know, using a CRM to start a side hustle or just you know, managing a small business, at the end of the day, you're typically gonna go through a lot of sales conversations within a given week, especially a month, and it can be really hard to remember those small details. This makes it a very, very easy way to be able to recap what you guys last spoke about, as well as even just setting up the new task uh, with a little bit more intention. And then again, continue to moving along uh, each prospect within the sales process, especially as you move them through your funnel and customize this to be able to forecast sales and making sure you're hitting your targets month over month. Hopefully this was helpful. You can get started for free actually at our website, sales-crm.com to manage up to 250 accounts and contacts for free. Uh, we do have paid versions for any other data storage needed above that. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to just drop one below and we'll be happy to answer.